Growing up, I started becoming self-conscious about my body. I noticed how my group of friends were much thinner than I was, and I would be called ugly and fat by my peers. The bullying I experienced made me feel petrified about attending middle school. My first day was not so bad, but defective when it came to PE class, and we had to run miles for a specific amount of time around the field and I just couldn't catch up to everyone else. As I was the last runner to approach my PE teacher to give my time, she said that my time had to be better. I felt really down about it and vowed to start losing weight after that. I started to exercise excessively and have a strict diet. Weeks passed and I rapidly shed the weight off. I started noticing huge changes and everyone noticed and gave lots of compliments on my appearance. It made me feel validated and accepted for the first time ever. After receiving those compliments, I kept going with my unhealthy habit of dieting and excessively exercising. Working out an hour a day turned to three hours. I became more and more obsessive with food and my weight. Each day, it got worse after I was praised by my PE teachers because of my best mile times. It got me to believe that being skinny was the solution to everything. Months passed and I spiraled out of control. I feel like my eating disorder was gaining control of my life. I would stop doing hobbies I enjoyed, such as arts or singing. I would feel tired, distracted, and depressed. My family and friends got really worried. I was skin and bone and very unrecognizable. My dimples were gone. My paleness overcame my rosy cheeks, and I just felt helpless. One day, my two sisters had a conversation with me about getting better and my niece named Nazareth, who was about five years old at the time, begged me to recover. After that, I realized how worried she was. I was ashamed about my behavior because she looked up to me as an older sister, and I didn't want to influence her that way. Reluctantly, I agreed with my mom about going to the doctor at a nearby clinic. After talking, she diagnosed me with anorexia. The process of recovering was difficult because I was tempted to go back to my old habits until I researched about eating disorders for the first time. And as I saw the word death, I just freaked out and felt helpless, but decided to not give up on myself. It was not a perfect process. Recovery and change is hard, but it's worth it. Currently, I'm in college and I'm still learning to love myself. I have a healthier lifestyle and I wouldn't change anything from the past because it has made me appreciate life and it has made me stronger than ever. Not only did I learn about self-love, but I also learned that perfection of beauty standards does not exist. If you or anyone is struggling with an eating disorder, just know that you are stronger than you think you are. And it is okay to seek help. You are worth so much and your weight does not define you. If I recovered, so can you. Oh my god, and we totally jumped off the cliff and had to swim all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end. Oh.